Yeah, hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to be covering all the problems with the aircraft carrier and military tycoon. Starting off, when you get in the driver's seat for the carrier, and you try and jump out, you get teleported to the top of the carrier. And now, you, like, if, say, you wanted to go to one of the drone spots, you'd have to jump off to go get to the drone spots. Speaking of which, you can't use the drones anymore. I don't know when this happened, but you can't use any of the drones anymore. And going back to the uh, carrier seat not working. This has probably been around since I've had the carrier, which was probably about a year ago at this point. Around the time when the F F-18 event came out. I don't remember how long ago it was, but it was quite a long time ago. And also, you can't fire any weapons in the driver's seat. Like the guns, the AA, the bigger guns. Or th there's also these two guns on the front of the carrier, which can't do anything along with this thing, and I don't know what they're supposed to be there for, if they're just there for visuals, but if they're not, they don't work. Um, another problem is, I think I, th I already said something about it, but when you're driving the carrier, you can't control any of these guns, and most of the time, you don't have anyone to help you. And seeing that naval, that naval vessels are already at a disadvantage because everyone uses aircraft, there's about zero naval vessels in the game typically used. The aircraft carrier is probably the most typically used one but it's still pretty outdated you know especially because you can't use any of the guns in the ship to at least try to shoot down air aircraft like even the little aa guns aren't that good at it i think the only ship that's able to somewhat do something about aircraft vehicles are the are is the satian frigate because it can lock on to aircraft but that's the only one that can do it and the aircraft carrier is huge it could probably be bombed pretty easily so it's very easy to be destroyed, even though it has a lot of health, it's just, it's very easy to destroy. It's also just, uh, I remembered I was thinking about this earlier. The guns on the aircraft carrier can't be used. Hang on, let me see if I can get into this one. Or no, they can be used, but it only fires one of the two shots it's supposed to fire. Like, there's one, I think you can't fire another one. Even though it has two turrets on the cannon. But yeah, so it's that's one of the problems with it. And then it's also very vulnerable to aircraft, other aircraft, because you can't control these these anti-air guns from the um, from the driver's seat. And they're also very slow and they can't lock on to anything. And if you try to look up, you'll kind of get stuck in there. You can't go into first-person view, but... Then your aircraft, your turret can't move if you're looking around like this. If you go into first person, you can't move your gun. So these guns are basically useless. And they're even more useless because you can't even use them while you're driving the carrier. And most people don't really have anyone to help them around, typically. So that's a big flaw on the carrier. Another thing is that it's, it's, pl it's you know, helicopters, planes. It has most of the default ones that are the regular Tycoon. No event planes or anything like that. I think the best plane on it is the warplane, but even though it comes completely unupgraded with zero of the upgrades on the regular warplane, so that's a pretty big problem. It doesn't come with any of the... I don't know what they're supposed to be called, but yeah. It doesn't come with all of its weapons. It comes completely unupgraded. It's at a pretty big disadvantage from all the other types of guns. And for some reason, the warplane... Yeah, never mind. But yeah, so it's completely outdated. Like, it, I think they should add one of the pads on it over there, so that you're able to spawn other aircraft, like event aircraft. Maybe so. Also, so it allows your clan members to also use it. But it shouldn't be able. To, another problem with the carrier is that the enemies able to jump onto your air onto your carrier and just grab one of the planes. I'm pretty sure and get on them. So that's a pretty big problem with it. But yeah. Um, also, the only decent plane it has is the A10, but I'm pretty sure it will also come unupgraded, and it will also cost a robux, and most people don't have the A10. So that's a big problem with it. Also, I think they should maybe add the amphibious assault vehicle to the carrier. So you can use that, that would be a nice cool update, but it's not exactly a big flaw with it. But yeah, the aircraft carrier is quite flawed, outdated, 
barely anyone ever uses aircraft. The, I'm pretty sure the aircraft carrier would be destroyed by any other naval vessel. I'm pretty sure a land vehicle could probably destroy this thing if they have enough time. Because these big guns really... They're slow, they take a long time to reload, they only, they're glitched and they only fire one shot now. The AA guns don't do that much damage, they don't lock on to anything, and they're pretty slow at fire rate. Especially when they're trying to do anything. Like the B-17 up there could probably kill me, okay, well not, yeah, I'm being kind of pummeled by these guys now, but, yeah. The aircraft carrier could pretty easily be destroyed, because yeah, it has a lot of health, sure, but. It doesn't really have anything it can do against other vehicles. Like, I probably couldn't do anything about any of these things. This helicopter could probably kill me if given enough time. Actually, no, I could probably take down the helicopter. Yeah, now this dude's just standing on the carrier. I just go kill him. I guess I can't. I guess I can't. Anyways, another problem with the carrier that I w was testing out earlier. You can just completely move the aircraft carrier with other aircraft. Like, say I get the warplane. I go around. You can just ram the carrier, and it'll go flying. Well, not flying, but you're able to move the carrier. If I okay, I missed. But yeah, like this. Like, I'm pretty sure in the last last server I was in, I moved the carrier up and it got to a certain height where I just... It stayed in the air. Oh, and now someone just took my carrier. I'm gonna have to go respawn that. Oh, one second. But yeah, another problem with that is, problem with that, is that some people are just able to steal your aircraft carrier or ships, just any vehicle you have. I don't even think that they have a... A stealing lock t countdown for the aircraft carrier or naval vessels so it's pretty easy for someone to just take your carrier if you're gonna have it you should at least be able to kick out people from your carrier and whatnot so you're able to at least let clan members use it but you can kick them out when you need to but yeah it's pretty easy to steal it and then a okay well let me showcase this other problem. Let me get my aircraft turned around. It takes forever to turn these things, but yeah. I can move my carrier, like I, as you saw a little bit before. I can just pick it up. The 10,000 ton aircraft carrier an uh, airplane can pick it up, just like this. You could probably take it to the moon. As long as you're able to keep it up, you're you're just able to bring it as high as you want. You could probably bring this over a spawn area, or at the loot crate area maybe, and then just start, I don't know, doing whatever you want. Because yeah, now it's just staying in the air. It's in the air now, it's permanently in the air. This happened the last time I did it too, so this isn't just like a one-time bug or anything. You're able to do this, if you get it to a certain height, it'll just stay in the air. You know, they keep spawning aircraft from it as well. From it as well. You, you don't have to do anything about it. Or, you, it's really, it's not that hard. You can just do it pretty easily like I just did. You get your warplane from the carrier and you send it up pretty high. But yeah, so the carrier is very bugged. It's outdated. I'm pretty sure it costed like 20 or 30 million. I don't remember how much it is because I got it, got it a long time ago. Like I said, probably a year ago at this point. But it's very outdated with the current games meta. Probably the meta for the whole entirety of the games existed because aircraft have always just been the dominant or the only important really really important thing in the game aircraft are able to completely easily destroy it you know so yeah and it doesn't have any good planes on it either there's no event vehicles so it's very outdated it's expensive and it's just not worth it. They should really revamp it sometime soon, but we, they, we, they haven't really teased anything about it yet. But yeah, that's about all for this one. See you in the next one. Why don't I just shoot down this enemy real quick? Or no, let me, let me prove something. Let me get my AA gun real quick. And see if I can shoot this F-35 down. Let's see how long it takes. It's already at half health. The island's in the way.
it's pretty slow firing rate. I can't do anything about it. I don't know how it's taking damage. It did like half the damage to itself because I hit it about zero times. I think the Satian Frigate might have locked onto it, but yeah. It's pretty useless. But yeah, that's all for this one. See you in the next one. Bye.